Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started Welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to learn how to build a recorder using React.js and web browser native API. So let's see what are we going to learn in this video today. We are building a recorder app that can record audio from a user's microphone and the user can play the audio. First, let's check out demo video of what are we building today. Here you can see the basic UI with a timer and recording button. When you click the button, the browser starts asking your microphone permission and then starts recording. After recording, press the stop button. Finally, you can see a play control button where you can hear what you have recorded. So, if you think that it is something interesting, let's hop on in building this application. We set up a basic React application with Tailwind and React icons packages are extra added. After that, let's create a components folder. Inside it, create a recorder.js file. Inside it, create a React functional component. Inside it, create a div element. Inside it, add a class name of withful. Height same as screen flex center the items. Then add gradient. Inside the div add h2 element. Add timer text inside it. Add some style like text size, text color, background color, padding, rounded corners and some margins. Below that create a button for stop recording. Add some style like flex, center item, text size, background color, rounded corners, padding, width and height. Inside the button element add font awesome button of stop. Similarly, create button for start recording with a microphone icon. Now add the recorder component inside the main app page. Now let's check the application. So here you can see that our UI seems good. After that create a state for recording which tracks is recording started or not. Use react use state and initialize with false. Inside the div, check whether the recording has started or not and show UI according to this. Now create a function for start recording. Create a function called start recording which is going to be an asynchronous function. Similarly, create a function for stop recording. To keep track of a timer, create another state called seconds and initialize it as zero. Inside the start recording side, create a set interval function which changes the value of seconds every second by simply adding one to its previous value.
Then set the value of is recording to true so that it will switch the button icons. Similarly, set the value of is recording to false when stop recording. Now inside the button, add the function using onClick properties to each of the subsequent button. Now you can see that the button is functioning fine. Now add format for a timer as it's calculating in seconds value and we can change the second value in hours, minutes and seconds. For this create a function called format timer which takes total seconds as a parameter. After that, we calculate hours, minutes and seconds accordingly. And return the value as a part of string. Here path start ensures that each number has at least two digits, adding a leading zero if necessary. For add the function inside the time part of the component and add seconds as a parameter. Now here we can see that the logic of timer is also working. Now let's build the recording logic. To do so, first create some states like recorded URL which keeps tracks URL is made after recording is done. Which initially be an empty string. Then inside div element, we check that recorded URL is there. If there, then we can show an element of audio with controls and pass the URL. Then create three preferences. Media stream to store the audio input stream initialize as null. Media Recorder to manage audio recording initialize with null. Chunks to store recorded audio data in small chunks initialize with an empty array. Then inside the start recording function, create a try catch block. For the catch section, console log the error. Inside the try section, move the timer part inside it. Set the starting second value to zero as when the user again tries to start recording, it will reset the value of the timer. Then create a constant as stream which stores the audio input of the user and await for the user to confirm access to the audio stream. If the user declines or doesn't have the microphone, it will trigger the catch block. The stream object represents this microphone audio stream and is stored in media stream dot current. Initialize media recorder using the stream and it is recorded inside media recorder's current value. Then handle the incoming data using on data available function. On data available event is triggered when audio data is ready to be processed. As the microphone inside the user device sends the data in the form of chunk size ensures that only non-empty chunks are added to the current chunk. Now as we are done with the part of start recording, we will have to step into the stop recording part. Handle stopping the recording combines the collected chunks into a single audio file, blob. You could describe the format of audio you want finally. 
After that, create a playback URL using URLs create object URL function and add the recorded blob path. And set the value of the recorded value to the URL. Then clears the chunks array to prepare for the next recording. Stops the timer with clear timeout function. Then add the media recorder current start function which will begin the recording. Now focus on stop recording button part. Now check the media recorder's current. Then stop the current media recorder. And use get tracks for each track, which will retrieve all the tracks audio inputs from the stream. Then use the stop function to release the microphone for other applications. So finally you can see that the app is functioning quite well. And here you could help with your recorded audio. So I really hope that you liked watching this video and you have learned something interesting and amazing that you could use in your future project. So for now I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video. Bye bye. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.